Anna's umbrella video is much more complex than most people have accepted at face value. The song is not about a woman's love for a man. Instead, it tells a complex story within which Rihanna, the good girl, is transformed via physical rape and possession into Rihanna, the bad girl. This good girl, bad girl contradictory dynamic is nothing more than the primordial cosmic conflict between light and dark, positive and negative, good and evil, as described earlier. Furthermore, the Umbrella video tells the story of victory by the demonic entities who wish to control and therefore destroy humanity on Earth. Before we conclude this particular documentary, we must first address something that reaches into the fifth level of awareness. What I am about to share with you may be very disturbing. Recall that there are six female entities in the opening scenes of the Umbrella video. At the end of the video, there are six male entities. These six male entities are the children of Rihanna and the rapist Rain Man. But wait, did Rihanna the good girl give birth to sextuplets? No, she did not. In truth, Rihanna the good girl is raped a total of six times, each time resulting in the birth of a male entity. Let us take a look at the video footage again, and this time we will take note of how many times the rapist Rain Man's chrome seminal fluid touches Rihanna, the good girl. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six female entities. Six rapes. Six male entities. Six. 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 Triangles, the Occult, and Rain Man Revealed. In the world of the occult, the up-facing triangle or pyramid it's often a symbolic representation of the masculine energy, the penis, and in some cases, the stargate or portal phenomena, as evidenced in the Egyptian or Kemetic obelisk or pyramids at Giza. Notice that the raped Rihanna is inside of the triangle or pyramid, signifying that she is completely enveloped or possessed by the masculine energy of the Rain Man entity. It can also be extrapolated here that in order for the raped Rihanna to give birth to Rain Man's children, a trans-dimensional conduit, stargate, or portal must be opened so that the children of the rapist Rain Man can manifest into the earthly plane. One might ask, if this Rain Man entity has taken human form, has raped Rihanna the good girl, and has possessed her, then why is it that the Rain Man entity is not seen in the video at all? Wouldn't there be some visual evidence within the video footage that would validate the physical presence of the Rain Man entity? What if I told you that the Rain Man entity is in fact visible in the Umbrella video? What if I told you that the face of the Rain Man entity is shown and is in plain sight? Did you see it? Let's watch it again. Did you see it that time? One more time. Now, let's look carefully here. There are several things that immediately stand out about this frame. Something is not quite right here. It is probable that you have already sensed that something strange is going on in this frame. Let us take a closer look. First of all, it appears as if Rihanna is bent over, her head bowed low, her face against the floor. Her legs are parted, her arms upstretched, angled behind her. At face value, this could be a symbolic reference to the final stages of labor. Could it be that in this moment, the children of the rapist Rain Man are actually being born? This is a valid possibility. However, there is much more to consider. 
This frame is dualistic in nature. It tells two stories simultaneously. Look closely at Rihanna's hair. There are only a few strands leaning down towards the ground. How is this possible? If her head is fully bowed, then shouldn't all of her hair be leaning down towards the ground? Shouldn't the hair on the back of her head fold over towards the ground as well? Wouldn't gravity make this so? Secondly, there are anatomical impossibilities present in this frame. The distance between Rihanna's bowed head and shoulders is anatomically disproportionate. Given the relative position of her trapezius muscles and pectoralis major muscles, Rihanna's neck would have to be about 11 inches long in order for her head to reach that low. From this position, her neck would also have to be stretched downward at an anatomically impossible angle. But this is not all. The fact that we can simultaneously see the trapezius muscles and the pectoralis major muscles indicates that this frame has been doctored, changed, or digitally edited. The trapezius muscles and the pectoralis major muscles are posterior and anterior, respectively. In other words, they are opposite of each other, one existing at one's back, the other at one's front. So then, how is it possible that we are able to see both so clearly here, unless this picture has been somehow altered? But why would it be altered? What purpose would it serve to alter this picture in such a way? Let's look closely at this area. What is this small horizontal line here? Is it some sort of protruding bone? Is it some sort of spontaneous mutation, the effect of which has formed bone structure only existing on one human being on the planet? If this is bone structure, then why is it not visible on the other side? This is not some protruding bone. This frame has been purposely altered. This small horizontal line is in actuality a right eye. We can therefore add the left eye, eyes, eyebrow ridges, small forehead region, top of head, horns, snout, mouth, miscellaneous bone structure. The head of the rapist rain man is in plain sight. So why did we not see this in the first place? Well, this frame is extremely brief, which makes it only accessible on a subconscious level. By freezing the frame and taking a more critical look, we can register all of these subliminal elements on a conscious level. Analysis of a possible psychological repercussion of rape. Rihanna the Good Girl is sexually assaulted and raped by the entity known as Rain Man. As a result, Rihanna the Good Girl becomes pregnant and ultimately concedes to the will of the Rain Man entity, subjugating herself to possession. But in the process of her tragic ordeal, something happens that is psychologically profound. Not only does the possessed Rihanna give birth to six of her rapist children, she also develops an affinity for her rapists. So profound is her psychological disorder that she beckons for her rapist Rain Man to enter into her vagina again. The last shot of the video shows the possessed Rihanna with her hands outstretched towards the heavens in an obvious act of worship or praise. The raped and now possessed Rihanna worships and praises the entity that raped her. Never, ever underestimate the power of possession. So insidious is this technology that even the raped will see their rapist as their savior.